Uh, so good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Asim Verma. I'm currently doing my first year uh, IR residentship at CMC Velo. I would like to thank ISVIR for this amazing opportunity and all my seniors who have guided me throughout. Yeah. So coming on to what is need assess? Need assess, like everyone knows, is a common exam for all the DM and DRNB seats, be it uh, private or government institutes throughout the country. Apart from these uh, institutes, AIMS, PGI, JIPMA, NIMANS, and Shichitra. So DM seats to need assess has al already been covered, so I'll not go through this. So basically, I'll focus on what a diagnostic radiology resident would be thinking because I was in their shoes like one year back. The, pa the pattern of need assess is a 150 multiple choice questions in 150 minutes, plus four, minus one, and uh, zero marks for unattended questions. And it includes, the general thing I heard was it includes questions from general radiology as well as basic questions from IR. But what questions from general radiology and what questions from IR were my questions when I heard the statement. So I've made a gross uh, uh, break up, breakdown of uh, the pattern. So the question distribution is out of 150 questions in my session, around 100 were from systemic radiology, 30 were from interventional radiology, and 21, uh, 20 were from radiology physics. In among systemic radiology questions, a big chunk was from neuro, involving neuroimaging and uh, and neurologic related questions, obviously because neuro IR forms a major part of the IR program. Okay, 10 were from genital urinary system, uh, 10 were from GIT, 10 were from chest uh, radiology, 10 were from cardiovascular radiology involving the peripheral vascular uh, uh, radiology, 5 were from endocrine and breast, and 5 questions were also from nuclear medicine that involved radio tracers and uh, PET scans. Now, IR questions. Uh, in my session specifically, I found that uh, though the general IR questions were there, like seven questions were basically about hardware and embolizing agents. There were also questions from neuro IR, uh, which demanded uh, uh, questions like management of stroke, questions like NIHS score, NIHSS, and questions like uh, aneurysm coilings. We had questions from aortic and vascular IR, questions uh, related to aortic aneurysm management, questions related to splenic artery, uh, co uh, splenic artery embolizations. We had hepatobiliary IR, that was majorly questions related to TIPS and BRTO. We had IR MSK, which had questions from uh, like genital artery and uh, vertebral plasty. Onco IR was there, taste and tear. And some non vascular miscellaneous questions were also there, like uh, they, were, they showed an image and asked, oh, was it a biopsy or was it a drainage? Now, physics questions also were uh, there in the paper, and uh, the distribution was five of the questions were from X ray physics and physics. Two questions were from ultrasound physics, around three, if, as far as I remember, for, from MRI physics. CT physics also had some questions, around three, and uh, artifacts, uh, including uh, X-ray, CT, and MRI, were like four in number, and three questions from radiation uh, physics regarding the AI, AERP guidelines and LARA principles were also there. Now, major way, the major thing that makes this neat assess different from other exams like FRCR is it has a lot of image-based questions. So in my session, there were around 50% image-based questions and 50% uh, text stem questions, around 80 text stem and uh, 70 image-based questions. Now for among the image-based questions, 40 were direct spotters, like if you will face in uh, your MD final exams or D if you have given DNB, you get uh, an OSCE session. They were like those spotters and 30 were clinical stem, Im uh, stem with images, including clinically uh, clinical images from uh, pre-procedural planning for an aneurysm coiling or a stroke. So to ace all of this, to ace need assess now because the pattern is so extensive, the first and foremost thing is to report as many cases as possible because we also had like full-fledged MRI and CT films given and asked about the possible management of the case. Now, I would stress on the fact of making uh, concise notes because like any other, all of the people sitting here have cracked neat PG, they have cracked neat UG. So revision will be the key to case any of these exams, rather be it neat SS or INI SS. So revision, for revision, you need to have your own notes. Osborne, Webb, Granger, and all Granger essentials are must reads. 
obviously but one underestimated source that i felt firstly was radiopedia it is such a powerful source such a powerful material because it's like in your phone rather than uh, your phone being a distraction you can easily use radiopedia it's readily available and also because 70 questions are images it will help you immensely with various clinical images frcr 1 and 2a books are helpful fast physics for machine crack the code but the problem is again frcr 2a is basically clinical stem text based questions but you have a lot of image based questions in need assess so you need to cater to them and frca 2a uh, frca 2a mcq books will help but again image based they are not image based so for image based things i'll definitely recommend you to go through spotters from various online sources from your books and various telegram groups that are, those are available for need assess specifically and for the IR part, I found Krishna Kandapa. You need not go ahead. Uh, Kaufman for vascular IR and Harrigan for neuro IR, I might suggest for INISS, but uh, for NEAT SS, I don't think it's needed.